Friends, welcome back to Mend the Broken. My goal is to ensure you recover everywhere you've been broken and to ensure the devil does not take advantage of you in any shape or form. So I started a discussion in the past weeks about dealing effectively with rape and sexual assaults. Let me be upfront with you. Healing and recovery is a function of the grace of God. The Bible says my grace is sufficient for you and you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. One of the highlights of the healing process I discussed was forgiveness. We all know forgiveness is a very difficult step to take. As simple as someone taking what belongs to us without permission or even lying against us his, it takes time for us to get over it and forgive the fellow. Now talking about the issue of rape, that is someone violating the sexual right of another person unjustly. That's a very difficult offense to forgive. But I see forgiveness as a way to choose joy over bitterness. When we hold the grudge of an offense against the offender, it ironically feels like it's a way to punish the fellow for what he has done. And so we are penalizing him. Also, it feels like a way to inflict a kind of suffering on the person because of what they have done and we are now in control of the situation. Plus, unforgiveness makes us nurture the odds and the wound the offender has inflicted on us. To top it all, it makes us feel it's a way to hold on to our right as a compensation for the bad treatment we have received. It's absurd however to find that despite believing these things, we still feel very upset when we think about the offense or even when we see the offender. We can view forgiveness as undergoing a change of feeling, overcoming negative sentiments like resentment and vengeance towards an offender. It doesn't mean you have not been hurt or put through a bad situation. It doesn't mean the pain is gone forever. It also does not mean the offender is excused are no longer responsible for his actions. It doesn't mean what has happened is, is not important or you can forget it forever. Neither does it mean you can go back to who you used to be. We definitely have a lot of thought when it comes to forgiveness. But look at what the Bible says in 1 Peter 5, 7. Let him have all your worries and cares for he is always thinking about you and watching over everything that concerns you. So it is time to let go. It is time to move forward and move ahead for the next step of your life. Remember your strength must be revived again for a better today and a greater tomorrow. So don't let anything stop you, not even unforgiveness.